In cryptography, a side ale is a tool used to perform a transposition cipher, consisting of a cylinder with a strip of parchment wound around it on which is written a message. The ancient Greeks, and the Spartans in particular, are said to have used this cipher to communicate during military campaigns. The recipient uses a rod of the same diameter on which the parchment is wrapped to read the message. It has the advantage of being fast and not prone to mistakes, a necessary property when on the battlefield. It can, however, be easily broken. Since the strip of parchment hints strongly at the method, the ciphertext would have to be transferred to something less suggestive, somewhat reducing the advantage noted. Encrypting. Suppose the rod allows one to write four letters around in a circle and five letters down the side of it. The plain text could be, help me I am under attack. To encrypt, one simply writes across the leather, blank, blank, underscore, H, E, L, P, M, underscore, underscore, E, I, A, M, U, underscore, underscore, N, D, E, R, A, T, T, A, C, K, blank, blank, underscore, so the cipher text becomes, H E N T E I D T L A E A P M R C M U A K after unwinding. Decrypting. To decrypt, all one must do is wrap the leather strip around the rod and read across. The ciphertext is H E N T E I D T L A E A P M R C M U A K. Every fifth letter will appear on the same line, so the plain text becomes H E L P M E I A M U N D E R A T T A C K after inserting spaces, the message is revealed. Help me I am under attack. History. From indirect evidence, the side ale was first mentioned by the Greek poet Archilochus, who lived in the 7th century BC. Other Greek and Roman writers during the following centuries also mentioned it. But it was not until Apollonius of Rhodes that a clear indication of its use as a cryptographic device appeared. A description of how it operated is not known from before Plutarch. The dispatch scroll is of the following character. When the Air Force send out an admiral or a general, they make two round pieces of wood exactly alike in length and thickness so that each corresponds to the other in its dimensions, and keep one themselves, while they give the other to their envoy. These pieces of wood they call Scythily. Whenever, then, they wish to send some secret and important message, they make a scroll of parchment long and narrow, like a leathern strap, and wind it round their side ale, leaving no vacant space thereon, but covering its surface all round with the parchment. After doing this, they write what they wish on the parchment, just as it lies wrapped about the side ale, and when they have written their message, they take the parchment off and send it, without the piece of wood, to the commander. He, when he has received it, cannot otherwise get any meaning out of it, since the letters have no connection. But it is arranged, unless he takes his own side ale and winds the strip of parchment about it, so that... When its spiral course is restored perfectly, and that which follows is joined to that which precedes, he reads around the staff, and so discovers the continuity of the message. And the parchment, like the staff, is called side ale, as the thing measured bears the name of the measure. Plutarch, Lives, ed. Bernadotta Perra. Due to difficulties in reconciling the description of Plutarch with the earlier accounts, and circumstantial evidence such as the cryptographic weakness of the device. Several authors have suggested that the side ale was used for conveying messages in plain text and that Plutarch's description is mythological. Message Authentication Hypothesis An alternative hypothesis is that the side ale was used for message authentication rather than encryption. Only if the sender wrote the message around a side ale of the same diameter as the receiver's would the receiver be able to read it. It would therefore be difficult for enemy spies to inject false messages into the communication between two commanders.